Welcome back children. So now that we know what are the kind of speeches we have to give, what are the delivery types that we have seen, now it's the time to deliver our speech. Okay? So now let's look at what do we need to deliver our speech. Before I go ahead with that, I would again come back to my communication thing. Okay? So do you remember I had talked about communication? Okay? So I had talked about communication, right? So, communication is one of the most important ingredients when we have to express ourselves or connect with people or put across a point, all right? And I told you that content and communication play equal role when you have to deliver a speech or talk to someone. Now, this communication has two important parts and we are going to look at both these parts in subsequent sessions. First is when we use words, sentences to talk. That is known as verbal part of communication. Okay. Verbal. Now, you can also talk using your face without talking. Okay. That is known as non-verbal. So, not only face, you will use lot of things that, uh, you know, God has given you. However, without using words too, you can communicate. Okay. So, that is non-verbal. These are the two things that we are going to look at. There are other part, uh, types of communication like written communication, okay, and then communication using art, dance and all that. We are not going to look at that during these public speaking sessions. Of course, Written communication can be when you are carrying slides or you are carrying, uh, you know, flashcards. Those are written communication. But when you are delivering your speech, these are the two major things you will have to take into consideration. Now, in this section, we are going to see vocal qualities. That is verbal part of your communication, the vocal thing, okay? Vocal, when you are using your uh, breath, when you are using your mouth, your lips, your tongue, your larynx, all these things to talk. That is known as vocal. Now, what are these vocal qualities? To keep your audience engaged, it is important to consider vocal qualities and what are these vocal qualities? Volume, pace and pitch. I am going to take you through all of these things with examples. So, do not worry. So, when you are using volume, pace and pitch, when you are communicating, you are using your vocal abilities. And uh, when you are using these, your speech does not only become interesting, it also becomes engaging. You can engage with your audience just by using your vocal abilities. Now, let us look at volume, pace and pitch individually. What is it? Let, let's say I'm saying, good morning, children. How are you doing? That's my volume is low. Hello, children. How are you doing? My volume is high. So, volume is the loudness or softness in our voice. How loud or how soft your voice sounds. You will have to use both when you are speaking. Let's say you're the audience size is huge or the auditorium or the hall or the venue that you are giving your speech from is very large. Okay? There you will, if you want to be audible enough, you will have to raise your voice. Okay? But let's say you are explaining something wherein it's very emotional or something that needs, that does not need for you to raise your voice, you can be soft. But uh, when whenever the the audience size is large or the room is large, you will get some technological things with you like microphone, mics and all that. So, do not worry. Even then, even with the support of a mic, like I am using a microphone, still I can speak loudly as well as softly. So, it, this is just a device so that your voice is audible. But how you raise your voice to put across a point with loudness, that is what volume is, okay? Depends greatly on the venue as I told you, the number of people in the room, all right? And even the content to some extent. And here, this is very important. 
this you can take care of when you and the number of people i mean technology can take care of you can be given a mic however the content if you want to take care of your content you have to use loudness if you want to put across a point you'll have to use loudness can i have your attention please so when you're saying this with the same um, in the same room with the same people you have raised your voice because you want to put across some point towards your audience so volume is one of the most important aspects of verbal communication with children normally what happens um, if you do not raise your voice that shows and with adults also for that matter that shows that you are not confident your voice and confidence go hand in hand when you are too meek meek means too slow that shows that and the entire speech is at a very low decibel that shows that you lack confidence if you want to show your audience that no you are not afraid not scared not nervous you are confident and not only about showing but also doing that you will have to use loudness in your voice okay so volume is very important moving on what did we say pace hello everyone how are you doing today i'm going to talk about public speaking what was i doing i was very fast good morning all today i am going to discuss on public speaking this is too slow so pace means when you are too fast or slow at times you know uh, too much of anything is bad too fast too slow is bad you have to be moderate enough moderation in your pace you have to use moderation be moderate when you talk because when you are too slow people will get bored when you are too fast your audience will not be able to understand you when you are and this pace also can be changed you can maintain a normal moderate pace you can uh, increase your pace or be a little faster depending on the content that you are uh, speaking on and you can slow down the mother when saw her child hungry so you are at a pace but then all of a sudden you took a pause and you slowed down because you want to your audience to walk with you you want to put across a point which is important then you will have to become slower however moderate pace is what you need to maintain too fast you will only do uh, it's not advisable too fast is never advisable you can maintain a moderate pace because too fast will make your speech very uh, people will not be able to understand and they will not be able to uh, relate to whatever you are saying okay and at times too fast shows that you are trying to show that you can speak in the language that you are good at so maintain a moderate pace slow down when necessary increase your pace if you are running short of time but that does not mean that you will not be uh, people will not be able to understand you maintain your uh, clarity however maintain the pace as well so always maintain a moderate pace pace slow down when necessary increase when very necessary otherwise maintain a moderate pace so pace is all about the speed then your pitch and this is very important you must have seen uh, singers when they sing they have a, a tripod and then there are some tones written like this you know s then like this then something and then like this so that is a scale that they have this is the scale for uh, singers likewise when you are delivering your speech you will have to take care of your pitch frequency when you will have to increase your pitch it is not about loudness loudness is when you increase the uh, base of your speech i mean voice pitch is when you are increasing the frequency let's say i'm giving you an example uh, let's say i'm talking about a lion cub who is hungry and who is reaching out to its mother because it wants food you're maintaining a pace and loudness is all fine the lion cub is very hungry and it reached its mother started to tinkle her mother so that the mother gets up the mother when she saw her son very hungry was sad so you brought down your pitch and then she is maybe uh, asking her husband to go fetch some food darling please go and get to uh, get some food for our child so you've increased your pitch your loudness also gets increased but 
which also increases. So it's like you will have to increase, come back, increase, come back, moderate, increase when necessary, moderate, increase when necessary, come down. So depending on what your content is, you'll have to increase your pitch. That is known as intonation. The tonality of your voice needs to change. The frequency, low frequency, high frequency. And it is not similar to what loudness is. So pitch, pace and volume is much needed when you have to deliver your speech. These are the three main important things. In the next section, we are going to see the other important aspects of your vocal abilities. So see you on the other side. Keep watching.